Bingo is a game of chance that features bingo cards consisting of five columns, each having five unduplicated random numbers in a range of 15 possible numbers. The columns are labeled B, I, N, G, O, thus the name bingo. The B column contains numbers in the range of 1 through 15 inclusive. The I column has numbers in the range of 16 through 30. The N column has four numbers in the range of 31 to 45, but the middle space of the column is called the free space and contains no number. The G column has numbers between 46 and 60 inclusive, and the O column is 61 to 75. Players mark the numbers off their cards as the host calls out numbers as chosen random among a set of 75 labeled balls. The host calls the letter and the numbers such as I-18 or G-62, and traditionally this process continues until a player achieves five straight numbers horizontally or vertically or diagonally to win the game. The assignment is to write a Python program that randomly generates and prints a bingo card for game play. Here then are the project instructions as you'll find them in Canvas as a PDF. So this is an assignment that gives some practice using while loops and random numbers. Again, the project is to create a bingo card with five columns labeled B-I-N-G-O and the B column numbers one through 15 randomly generated, the I column random numbers between 16 and 30, N is 31 to 45 with the middle space being marked as free. So you're really only generating four numbers. 46 through 60 in the G column, 61 through 75 in the O column are the ranges. Of course, there should be no duplicate values. In other words, the number 12 would only appear once if used at all. Here's a screenshot of what your program is going to look like. We'll get some information to the user as far as what the project consists of. We'll use a input value of really nothing, just a string, to pause the program. So they just press the enter key and will then generate and print the card. Restrictions, you can only utilize the statements we discussed in class thus far. Variables, print, input, uh, int, math operations, and of course, conditionals and repetitions. I did not use list or dictionaries in my solution, but you may if you wish. You cannot use additional features such as functions or built-in and custom methods. And you're gonna display the results in a graphical columnar output as shown here. And you'll have to do some spacing with the print statements to get things to look good. And the assessment of the project. Please wrestle with this project first and uh, try to develop this on your own or with, with maybe a, a classmate. And then if you get stuck, watch the remainder of this video and I'll show you my solution. Here is my code review solution to the Bingo Card Maker project. I'm going to start by printing the front matter of what the program does. And then I'm going to import the random class. We'll use that to randomly generate our unique numbers for the bingo card. I want to pause control. And so I'm just going to have an input statement that asks the user to press the enter key to continue. I'm not bothering to put that into a variable. I could, but that's going to pause the program. And as soon as they press the enter key, then we'll generate the card and display it. So I'm going to start with a variable called B1. That's going to be my first B number. And I'm going to randomly generate a value between 1 and 15 inclusive. Once I've done that, I'm going to have four more variables, B2, B3, B4, B5, and they're going to equal the values in B1. So at this point, all five of my numbers are the same, whatever was randomly generated on that first line. While B2 equals B1, which will be a true statement to start with, we're going to regenerate B2 as a new random integer between 1 and 15. And if it happens to come up the same number again, we'll do it a second time, or a third time if we need to, and so forth, until B1 and B2 are no longer the same. Then I'm going to do while well, B3 equals B1, or B3 equals B2. Now we know initially B3 is going to equal B1, so it's going to generate a new B3 number between 1 and 15, and continue to do so until it's unique from the first two. Then we do the same thing with B4. As long as it's equal to B1, B2, or B3, we'll generate a new B4. And then finally, B5. Make sure it's not equal to any of the first four. And if it is, we'll generate a B5. That gives me my five unique B numbers between 1 and 15 and no duplicates. I do the same thing with I. Basically, all I did here is copy and paste it and changed the Bs to Is and change the range from 1 to 15 to 16 and 30. So this will give us a range starting with 16, ending with 30, and those are inclusive. Copy and paste again for the end column. 
Here I'm changing that B or I to N, and our range is gonna be 31 to 45. Now we have a free value in N3, so I'm just gonna say N3 equals free, and I don't need to check N4 or N5 against N3, but checking them against, in this case, N4, I'm looking at N1 or N2, and N5, make sure it's not the same as N1, N2, or N4. I really didn't need this N3 equals free. In fact, I didn't even use it later on in the print statement that we'll see. But it's a good reminder that you're not needing to generate an N3 value. Here's our G column. So G1 equals G2, 3, 4, 5. And I had it equal in the random of 46 to 60. So here I combined these two lines into one line. And we make sure that none of these are, are the same. And we keep generating new G numbers until we've got five unique numbers and do the same thing then with the O column. Here the O column is going between 61 and 75. That generates the 24 numbers that we need for our bingo card. And then we need to print the, print the card. I used asterisk just to make the lines of the card. So I'm gonna start with just a straight line going across of asterisk. The alternative is we could have used a multiplier of an asterisk. I found it helpful just to print these out because I wanna make sure everything aligns really nicely. So that's why I did a full line there. Then I want to print out the number or the letters B-I-N-G-O with some spaces. And I'm going to use asterisk for the vertical lines as well. Another horizontal line, some more vertical lines. And then here, because the B number could be one digit or it could be two digits. So it could be like a seven or it could be a 12. I'm going to print out the values of B1, I1, N1, G1, and O1. But I'm going to, on the B1, format it so it takes two spaces. That way everything will align very nicely. Then again, vertical line, horizontal line, vertical line, printing out B2, I2, N2, G2, O2. Repeat my lines. Here's the third numbers for each of those with the N being free. I, I hard-coded the free N. I could use my N3 variable there as well. Vertical lines. Here's the fourth numbers in the B, I, N, G, and O columns. And then some more lines, and then B5, I5, N5, G5, and O5. Remember, we're printing going across here. We can't print the B column down and then print the I column going down. We have to print the lines going across. Let's test this. So I get the front, front matter printing, press the Enter key to continue, and there's my bingo card. Now I'm going to look and make sure that I get a 15 and I get a 1. So there's no 1 here. I want to run this again, make sure I get a 1. Same here, I'm looking for a 16 and a 30, making sure all my numbers are inclusive. There's my free, make sure the numbers are in the correct range. So here's the 75, I'm looking for a 60. So I want to run this again. So I'm gonna come back over here, just press F5, press the Enter key. And I'm gonna do this as many times as I need to. And I should be getting different numbers each time. I wanna make sure that that's true. So here I have 3, 12, 15, 14, and six for B. Here I have 3, 8, 13, 10, and four. So I'm getting different cards each time. Again, I want to make sure that I'm getting all the numbers in each column to appear. So I'm going to have to test this 10, 12, maybe 15 times. I want to make sure there's no duplicates. I'm also making sure, okay, there's 59 here. Make sure there's no one more 59s. Make sure there's only 161 here. Those are how you would test your program to make sure everything's working. Make sure there's no duplicates. Get full range and everything looks very nice aesthetically with our columns aligning well. If you just jumped into this video and haven't seen the prior videos to this, I invite you to check out my Python playlist of videos. And if you'd like to be alerted to future videos that I create, you can click my picture up in the top right and subscribe to the channel.